I think Melania Trump is every gold digging woman's worst nightmare. Because normally you just have to be seen in the restaurant with the guy. She's going to be in history books for hundreds of years. <laughs> People looking at her, oh man, she could have been dating the likes of Brad Pitt. <laughs> She's trapped. She's trapped like Shawshank. I picture her with like a stiletto trying to tunnel out of the Lincoln bedroom at night. <laughs> trying to escape. I think it'd be cool if she got divorced because then technically she would own the White House. <laughs> Every future president would have to deal with this living roommate as a disposition of a snooty house cat. She doesn't talk to you for three months, comes out and says something like, turn down the music, I'm nothing. And then doesn't talk. <laughs> and then two more months left alone, just like, <clears throat> weird. Uh, man, that whole, uh, uh, I think Louis C.K. revolutionized rape. Because <laughs> it used to be horrible. It used to be like chloroform rags and black eyes. Now it's just a little bit awkward. <laughs> and now, he made it a lot better. He took something that was horrible and made it pretty good. What are you clamoring for the good old days where your favorite dress gets torn and you're fucking walking funny the rest of the week? This was all <laughs> He made it. He did the most decent thing any rapist could do. It was the, <laughs> if you're a rapist, it was the most decent of the rape. And not good, but still better than most rapes. <laughs> I, I did not think he was going to follow me on this one. <laughs> But um, I'm glad this is the edgy stuff. Uh, got time for one more? Yeah. Okay. Um, more rape jokes. <laughs> We're, uh, um, hmm. I, uh, I teach in a school. Uh, I'm one of the only white people in the entire building. Uh, the kids call me Diamond because my forehead shines bright. <laughs> uh, and they're all, they're into racism. Like, every time I write a referral, they're like, it's racist. I'm like, you just, like, threw a desk at the kid. Like, I have to write that referral. Uh, everything's right. I want to end racism. And here's what I tell some of my students to do. Go to a movie, sit right in front of an old white couple, and then don't make a peep the entire movie. <laughs> you will turn their world upside down. <laughs> they will be like, what? They'll start seeing things like, I think Obama did make some good changes. <laughs> he did leave a good legacy. <laughs>